Den här första dagen på jobbet. A short-lived triumph. Sweden's new prime minister resigned Wednesday just hours after being appointed. Magdalena Andersson of the Social Democrats stepped down as her coalition's junior partner, the Green Party, quit the country's minority government. I have met the speaker and asked to be relieved of my duties as prime minister. But I have also told him that I am ready to be prime minister, but in a single-party social democrat government. The Greens resigned in protest after Parliament rejected the coalition's budget and instead adopted one pushed by conservative opposition parties and the far-right anti-immigrant Sweden Democrats. For years now, Swedish politics have been gripped by the rise of the far-right, with the country's left and centre parties determined to ensure that the Sweden Democrats remain out of government. Known for her no-nonsense attitude during seven years as finance minister, the 54-year-old Andersson is Sweden's first woman ever elected prime minister, a long-awaited milestone in a country that prides itself on values of gender equality. With her resignation a constitutional formality, she's likely to be reappointed quickly. A majority of parties say they won't block her in a new confirmation vote. Even so, her challenges will be far from over as rising gun violence and the fallout from COVID-19 cast a pall over the political landscape, the country's next national election is scheduled in just under a year's time.